This place is called a bakery. Can you guess what's being made here? They're making bread. Thousands and thousands of loaves every day. Bread is good for us. It can help keep us healthy and it tastes great, especially when it has just been made. That's why so many people eat bread. So all day and all night, with the help of some amazing machines, bakers across the land are working hard. They make sure there is lots of fresh bread in the shops for us every day. So just how do they do it? Let's go on a journey through the bakery to find out. To make bread, you need flour. It comes from wheat grown by farmers in their fields. Its grains are crushed or milled down to form flour. Bakers need so much flour that it has to be put into huge drums called silos. The flour arrives in tankers like this one. Other types of food, or ingredients, will be mixed with flour to make bread. There's salt mixed with water, vegetable fat, and something called yeast. Yeast is very important. You'll see why later. The bakery buys lots of ingredients ready for bread making. Sometimes, extras like nuts and fruit can be added. Here they are, ready to be used. No one has to carry the flour, water, yeast or fat into the bakery. They all pass through long pipes into the bread factory. A computer helps the baker work out how much is needed. It is all mixed together in this giant machine. It mixes everything very, very fast. Perhaps you have a food mixer at home. But this one could be the size of your kitchen. After a few minutes of mixing, this is what it looks like. It's called dough. It's soft, sticky and very stretchy. The big ball of dough has to be cut into smaller pieces. Each piece will make one loaf of bread. There they go. Here, the dough pieces are shaped into balls as they whiz their way up around and out. After spinning so fast, the dough needs to be left to rest so that it can soften. It sits on these moving shelves for about eight minutes. The dough is rolled into sausage shapes. Air bubbles are squeezed out and it's shaped into the right length. It might not look like bread yet, but wait and see what's going to happen. The tins of dough are taken to a warm area. Now remember that special ingredient called yeast. It's about to do its work. Like the yeast being mixed in this bowl, it will fill the bread with bubbles when it warms up and makes the loaves grow big and soft. Just look at the bread now. See the difference? After being kept warm for almost an hour, the dough ball is much, much bigger. A topping of seeds is added. Now it's ready to go into a nice, hot oven to bake. About 20 minutes later, delicious loaves of freshly baked bread are ready to come out. Here they are, more than 10,000 loaves of bread every hour. They're taken out of their tins. And the bread is sent to cool down in this special cooling cupboard. Do you know what the outer part of the bread is called? It's the crust. Letting the bread cool down slowly for two or three hours means that the bread will have a nice soft crust.
Next, the bread will be cut into slices. Then it's put into bags. Just a few hours after the flour arrived at the bakery, the loaves are ready to go to the shops. Off goes the bread into the lorries. So wherever you live, it'll be nice and fresh for your sandwiches and toast.